you can see that. See how the walls are coming in on me? <laughs> no wonder why I was so warm. <laughs> it's an in igloo. <laughs> Maybe I should water test this at some point. You guys let me know if you want to see that water test down below. <gasps> If this video does really well, maybe I'll buy a new one and, and water test that. So you guys, blow this video up. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want to see a water test of my favorite tent ever. 200 likes on this video, I'll buy another one. So let me know. Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures of Spackman. Today, we're talking about my favorite tent ever. We're looking at the instant A-frame tent from Ozark Trail. Let's see how you set this bad boy up and find out why it's my favorite tent ever. <laughs> I just love it, I really do. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that makes this tent my favorite tent ever is the setup of it. It doesn't get much easier than this and it takes about 30 seconds to set up. So let's get this set up. I've never had a problem in getting this tent back in the bag either. So that's another plus for the tent. So once you get it out of the bag, you pretty much unfold it, extend the poles and it's set up. So. Let the 30 seconds begin. When you extend the poles, you want to make sure they click. And there you have it, it's set up guys. <laughs> it's a, it's a freestanding tent. So right there, you're done. You can stake out the vents and the corners, but you don't have to right now, it's all set up. But we're gonna go ahead and stake out the corners and everything else. It is completely set up. <laughs> Tell me, does it get much easier than that? And if it does, let me know in the comments down below what tent that is. Cause right now, we're set. One big complaint I have with Ozark tents are the zippers. They're not the smoothest by any means on any of their tents. Huh, there's a little pocket right here. That's for the door. It doesn't tie up, but it does have a pocket for the door to sit. Right here, if you can see that, there's a, an electrical cord outlet or inlet where you can stick an electrical cord through there if you're on a campsite with electricity or you have a battery bank, a big battery generator. Let's open this back window. So this tent has been one of my favorite tents for about five years now, four or five years. At first Walmart had this on Black Friday deals, right? And it was originally marked from 50 to 30 on the Black Friday special, right? So I went and I picked up one of them for $30. The following day I went back and they were marked down to $15. So 50% off that clearance price. So I returned the $30 one I got and I got two at $15. From there, I ended up finding two more for sale on Facebook for $20 each. So now I have four of these tents. They're such a good tent, I love it so much that I have four of them. I have three in my possession right now and Jay's currently uh, borrowing one because because it's such a good tent, we use them all the time, and it's just so easy to set up and take down. It's, there's really no reason not to use such an easy tent when weight and size doesn't matter to you whatsoever. Now this tent is pretty long. It doesn't break down very small. It is probably four feet long or three and a half feet long when it's all packed up, and it weighs about 13 pounds. So it's not the lightest and smallest package tent, but it's definitely one of the easiest tents I've ever used to set up and take down, and I love it. I, just for that alone, I love it. Let alone all of the air ventilation. Look at this back wall right now. It is completely all mesh. The front, the front door is half mesh, and then from here down is all mesh in here too. But the tent itself is seven feet wide by eight feet long and four feet four inches tall. That's 52 inches tall. So you can sit in here in a small chair, you can sit in here on a cot, right in the middle. You can't sit against the walls, but right in the middle, since it is an A-frame, you have the most room in the A-frame right in the peak, right? It, there's just something about A-frame tents that just really get me going. I love A-frame tents. They're the most simplest of structures. 
You can make them out of pretty much anything. A tarp and some sticks, you got yourself an A-frame. Haven't seen these in stores since that first Black Friday special. Like they don't keep them on the shelves anymore. You can only buy them on walmart.com, but they're just about $50. I think right now they're about $51 and change. But I'm telling you guys, for an instant 30 second setup A-frame tent that can sleep four people, they claim it sleeps four and it's seven feet wide. So there is plenty of room for you to sleep this way. And they claim that you can fit one, two, three, and then four people in here. Now let's come inside and check out the inside a little bit. Now here's the big pocket in the back. It's got a small mesh pocket here, a bigger mesh pocket here. And then guys, your step two holders. This tent comes with a cup holder, built-in cup holder, and then a Velcro pocket, a much bigger Velcro pocket, and you can close that up. So halfway up the wall on both sides is all mesh, creating plenty of ventilation in here till the snowfall covers that vent, and then you have no ventilation unless your door, unless your door window or your back window are cracked open. Now, I have had the most fun camping in this tent ever in my life. I set it up during a snowstorm that had just started. We were expected to get eight inches of snow, eight to 12 inches of snow, but we ended up getting three feet of snow, guys. This tent has been through three feet of snow. Here, here's a little clip from that video. Anyways, guys, it looks like the $50 Walmart tent held up. I mean, held up is relative term, I guess. It didn't break. So, that camping, that camp out, it was in my, it was in my front yard, but it was my, but it was the most fun I've ever had in a tent, <laughs> like ever. It was so fun. I woke up and I could barely get out of bed because of the snow was so much snow on this tent. And then another point right there, it's only a three season tent, but I guarantee, I, I don't know of any other tent that would hold up to three feet of snow on top of it, but this one did. I don't recommend having this in three feet of snow, but I've had it out in quite a few snowstorms with a few inches of snow and it's done very well. Condensation during winter months can get pretty bad because you're stuck in here and there's no ventilation up here. So all of this gets, gets frosty, but in the winter time, that's, that's just par for the course. You know, condensation in the winter time, it happens. If you don't have a heat source in here, then you're gonna have condensation no matter what. Even with these vents, it doesn't matter. The, the vents up here gets condensated. That's nature of the beast guys in warmer months like spring summer and fall i've never had an issue with condensation with all the vents wide open i just i just haven't so i wanted to set up all four of these tents but right now jay's using one my my fourth one must be out with somebody else that i just don't remember letting somebody borrow but if you're the buddy that has the other, other 10 of these, leave it in the comment down below. Cause I'd kind of like it back or at least know who has it. So let me know. <laughs> when I first bought these, I had this idea of taking the frame off of one of them and just using a ridge line to set it up. I haven't done that yet, but that would knock a lot of weight off with just the pole. So then you just left with the tent itself. So you guys let me know if you want to see that video of making this a poleless tent and just using it with a ridge line to two trees. So I've gotten a lot of use out of these tents and absolutely nothing on them has failed in the last four to five years. I can't remember how many years I've actually been using them, but let's, on the safe side, let's just say four years. I'm not gonna water test these tents. For one, Ozark Trail doesn't claim that they're waterproof and it's probably for good reason. I don't even know if they're seam sealed. Let, let's, let me check. Oh yeah, they are seam sealed. I've only had them in light rain personally, and they've done well, or in heavy snow. I've had these out in three feet of snow, and a few inches of snow, and sprinkles of snow sprinkles? Is that a thing? And sprinkles of snow, and it's never let water in. Jay claims that he's used them in moderately heavy rain, and still no water has been let in. Maybe I should water test this at some point. You guys let me know if you want to see that water test down below. I just don't think it's, a f it's fair for me to water test these after four years of use. I, I just, I don't know how that would do, but you guys let me know. Maybe I'll seam seal it first. 
if this video does really well, maybe I'll buy a new one and, and water test that. So you guys, blow this video up, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys wanna see a water test of my favorite tent ever. Cause I would actually really love to do that. So maybe I will, then let me know. 200 likes on this video, I'll buy another one. So let me know. If I'm ever expecting rain, when I'm using these tents, I always cover it with a tarp. I like to have an awning to hang out underneath when it's raining anyways. So I always have a tarp with me when I'm camping. And this tent isn't meant for backpacking. We use it for parking lot camping or close enough to the parking spot camping where you can carry a 13 pound tent because 30 seconds to set up your tent, it's just worth it. It's so easy. It, it doesn't matter how heavy it is. It's just worth it. My friends use them all the time. They borrow them from me. When somebody asks me for a tent, I let them use this one just because it's so easy. Anybody, whether you have experience setting up tents or you don't, can set this tent up in 30 seconds. It's that easy. If you use this tent, let me know in the comments down below what your experience is with it. If you don't think this is the best tent ever, you're wrong, first off. But let me know in the comments down below and why you don't think it is. But you are wrong because this is the best tent ever. <laughs> it's got its plates just as well as other tents have their place. But this one is number, this is my favorite tent ever. I just love it. If you guys like this sort of thing, think about hitting that subscribe button. I'll leave it right here in the middle somewhere. Thanks for joining me on this one. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. 30 second instant A-frame tent for 50 bucks. Let's go.